Someone told me about a tablet that can stop heavy bleeding, but it doesn't contain any hormones. If heavy periods are so bad, they are disrupting your life, tranexamic acid could make a difference, but only if you use it correctly. I'll walk you through the safest way to manage heavy menstrual periods using this treatment. Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator. If you've been struggling with heavy, painful menstrual bleeding, tranexamic acid is a prescription-only medicine that helps to reduce heavy menstrual bleeding by stabilizing blood clots. In other words, it promotes your body's ability to maintain a clot, leading to staunching or stopping and reducing excessive blood flow. It doesn't contain any hormones, which makes it a suitable option for many women who prefer non-hormone-based treatments. It is quite often employed in the context of bleeding for which we do not detect any cause when we have done the usual tests. However, some women who experience heavy menstrual bleeding as a result of fibroids or endometriosis can also find tranexamic useful in controlling that symptom. First, how does tranexamic acid work? It slows down the breakdown of blood clots in the womb, reducing heavy bleeding during the period. You should begin taking tranexamic acid on the first day of your period and continue only for the heaviest bleeding days. In most people, that's usually two to three days. It's important that you're taking it only when the period has started because remember how it works. It prevents a blood clot from breaking down. So you need to have blood clots present. If you haven't started your period, there's no use taking tranexamic acid. It usually starts working within the first 24 hours or even earlier. Next, what is the safe amount to take? Typically, the recommended dose is one gram or 1,000 milligrams three times a day. However, you should follow your doctor's advice for your specific case. Is there anybody who should not have tranexamic acid? Yes. If you have ever experienced blood clots, suffered from a stroke, if you have certain heart conditions, tranexamic acid might not be safe for you. You should also be wary of this medicine if you experience convulsions or seizures. If you're using the combined birth control pill, because there might be a greater risk of blood clots developing if you use both these medicines at the same time. So what side effects should you watch for? Tranexamic acid is generally quite well tolerated, but you should be aware of certain side effects, for example, nausea, diarrhea, stomach cramps, or rare but very serious side effects like convulsions or seizures and blood clots. Let's talk a little bit about what tranexamic acid would do so that you have realistic expectations when you're taking this medicine. It doesn't stop your periods completely or totally relieve cramping pain. So you may still need other treatments if you have very painful periods as well. Heavy periods refer to excessive menstrual bleeding that can interfere with your physical, emotional, mental and other material quality of life. I think it's important to say here that no one is expecting you to measure how much blood you lose each month and compare it to a standard. But what is much, much more important is how that loss of blood, how your bleeding experience affects your day-to-day -day life. And just to emphasize how important this subject is, a study showed that about five in every hundred women aged between 30 and 49 years visits their general practitioner or family doctor every year for problems related to heavy periods or heavy menstrual bleeding. This figure, I know, will be a lot larger if you include teens, adolescents, or even women in their 20s. You might also find it interesting to learn that in nearly 50% of cases of women who come to us with heavy period problems, we don't find the cause. In cases where we can establish a cause, we have things like fibroids, endometriosis, adenomyosis, womb cancer, systemic disorders like problems with blood clotting, and for example, von Willebrand's disease, and underactive thyroid, or even prescribed medication like blood thinning drugs. All these could account for excessive menstrual bleeding. And this is why we encourage anyone who suffers with heavy menstrual bleeding to see their doctor, because it's important to run a number of tests to establish if it's as a result of one of these conditions I've just mentioned. Now, you might be wondering why 
Or what is the problem that could make a woman who doesn't have a condition like fibroids or adenomyosis to experience heavy menstrual bleeding? Well, the usual cause for this state of affair, that is heavy menstrual bleeding without an underlying condition or abnormality in the womb, is hormonal imbalances and there are two main scenarios where hormone imbalances can cause this problem first is what we call anovulatory cycles this is common in teenagers so just beginning their menstrual history or menstrual journey or women approaching menopause and what happens in anovulatory cycles instead of happening every month the body may skip ovulation leading to an imbalance of levels of estrogen and progesterone due to this imbalance the womb lining grows excessively thick and when it's time to shed it does so heavily and very often in an irregular unpredictable manner the second scenario where we have hormone imbalance refers to the relationship between your brain and reproductive organs this is known as the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis or hpo for short it is also a situation that commonly affects adolescents and young women who have an immature HPO. In their case, the system that regulates menstruation may still be immature, leading to irregular and heavy bleeding. So, just to emphasize, this heavy bleeding isn't due to an identified medical condition, but rather something wrong with the body's natural process of regulating its hormone balance. And usually the body adjusts itself with time, especially in younger people. But of course, if the symptoms persist or significantly are disrupting a person's lifestyle, a medical assessment is important. Tranexamic acid can be a safe and effective hormone-free option for managing heavy periods when used correctly by many women. Please see your doctor to decide if it's the right option for you. For someone who struggles with heavy menstrual bleeding month after month, it can feel overwhelming and leave you exhausted and anxious. So tranexamic acid may be the answer, but how do you use it properly? Or have you tried tranexamic acid before and it didn't work? Or are you considering using it? Please share your thoughts or experience in the comment section. I'd love you to give this video a like, especially if you found it useful and share it with a friend. Check out these other videos where I talk about other period related issues and I'll see you again soon.